Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. Today we will take a look at an information disclosure vulnerability. Um, these kind of things are quite common, unfortunately, and they require very technical or very little technical knowledge, really, like to exploit. And we're going to take a look at one of them and to sh simply show you like the dangers of these information disclosures, right? So first and foremost, like if if I was a bug bounty hunter, if I was an attacker, and if I want to gain access to, to this medical application here, so I, I would browse around the site, right? And I would say like, okay, there's a doctor login, for example, right? So yeah, it requires username and password, and I, I don't have the username and password. Um, but maybe there's other ways, you know, like to, to gain authorized access or unauthorized access, as you want to call it. Um, so I would simply check out all the functionality, right? So there's, for example, here, there's one which says not a doctor register here. So let, let's check this. And it's basically says like, okay, doctors can register here. And there is like a username field and a unique invite code. Okay, so you know, let's check this. I say Martin and test, right? So can I register with Martin and test? Um, no. I cannot, the code is not valid. So it would have been too easy, right? Um, I can check Martin and admin. Does this work? No, it also doesn't work, right? So, I mean, this is guesswork and, and some people might may want to brute force it if there's no brute force protection on it and stuff like that. But um, Google to the rescue, right? Like, I mean, Google knows a lot of things. So I can go over to Google, for example, and then simply look for first blood hackers dot dot com right like which is the domain name here as you can see in firstbloodhackers.com so see what google knows about that and then the first one is like a reddit post effectively right and it talks about doctor registration so let's open this up let's open this up and then effectively it says hi there hope this is the right place to do this and blah 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 blah, blah. But i received an invite code oh interesting right so but it doesn't recognize my doctor username and I'm unable to proceed. Kindly assist. Oh, there's an, there's an invite code. It's quite uh, cryptic. So it's not like, an, I couldn't have guessed that one, right? Like you, you agree. And I'm simply copying this out and then I just try it, you know, like trial and error, basically put this in and there we go. And effectively the invite code, which was leaked out there, um seems to be working so maybe they fixed some things maybe they don't check the username in correlation with the invite code or, or things like that so effectively what just happened is i found an invite code on the web and i tried to use it and it worked and it's given me a username now uh martin and a password so i just copied this password go to the login page and i enter martin and see if this works and it does indeed so i have now a doctor um, portal access effectively, right? This is not, not an administrative access, but it's certainly more than the ordinary user um, who is not in any way affiliated with that company should be able to see. So this is just a small little example, like how uh, information disclosure vulnerabilities can have devastating effects. I hope you liked it and stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you.